just like that. Oh, he puts it in. One, two, three. He makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Mesa slides through. Oh, he's got a man for a goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. Hey fellas, how's everyone doing? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 16 player ratings video. What I wanted to do was to predict each player's rating in FIFA 16 based on previous year's performances, goals, assists and special cards given by EA. Well, unfortunately, I will not be able to do that, at least not for FC Barcelona, as their ratings have been already leaked from E3, people got to play the game there and already saw their ratings. Of course, these ratings are maybe subject to change until the launch of FIFA 16, but at this moment, we're just gonna comment on these ratings, starting with the one and only Leo Messi, who had an incredible year, winning the Champions League and La Liga with Barcelona, scoring loads of goals and playing at his best level, especially towards the end of the season. According to EA Sports, his new rating is 94, which is deserved in my opinion. This makes Ronaldo upgrade also to a 93 rated card according to the same sources. Moving on to Neymar, who despite many people's opinion that he will not make it in Europe, has had a great year also. He had two informs, one man of the match card and a team of the season card. He also got a winter upgrade and despite all of this, he will keep his 87 rated card. Here I must disagree a bit with EA, I would have given him a plus one upgrade from 87 to 88. Next one is Luis Suarez with two man of the match cards, two informs and of course a team of the season card. EA kept his rating at 89 and I must agree with them. He was already very high rated and I don't see him as a 90 rated player. Moving now to Ivan Rakitic, this guy had no less than 3 informed cards and also a man of the match card, but EA is keeping him at the moment with the same rating as last year, 83, I think he deserved at least a plus 1 or even a plus 2 upgrade, what do you guys think, leave a comment below with your thoughts regarding this. Iniesta had 0 goals, 6 assists, no informs and a team of the year card. But he apparently received the plus one upgrade from 89 to 90. I don't know the logic here EA, what are you thinking? For sure he doesn't deserve an upgrade after such a season, 89 was more than sufficient in my opinion. Jordi Alba has received a plus two upgrade together with PK who went up from 84 last season to an 85 rated card at this moment in FIFA 16. Busquets, Bravo, Ter Stegen, Dani Alves, Pedro and Mascherano seem to have kept their rating from FIFA 15 into FIFA 16. Again, these ratings have been shown at E3 where people got to test the game. There is still some room for change and I sure hope some changes will actually happen. For example, Rakitic, I see him at 85, not 83. Busquets maybe at 86 and the goalkeepers have both had a good season, I see Bravo from 83 to 84 and Ter Stegen from 82 to 83. What do you guys think about these ratings? Will we see some changes when FIFA 16 gets launched? Drop a comment with your opinion. Also, tell me which team or which players would you like to see featured next in this prediction series. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more like this coming up on the channel, go leave a like, let's try and smash let's say 900 likes at this video. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. My name is Ovi and remember, dare to be yourself.